What is up, my kings, my queens, my goats, my guys? It's your boy Jay Downs. We're back at another video. Back at another Giants video. And today we're going to be talking about five defensive players I can see the Giants possibly target on the open market in this year's free agency class. Last time I did a uh, five wide receiver ranking video. Um, so this time I'm going to switch it to the other side of the football and we're going to be talking about defense. So let's get right to this one. Let's go. Number five, I got Shaquille Barrett. Now, I understand that it's been widely known that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to make a strong effort to keep their top key free agents like Levante David, Chris Godwin, uh, Shaquille Barrett, etc. And um, it's going to be very hard for any team to get their hands on a player like Shaquille Barrett. But if Shaquille Barrett were to somehow hit the open market and the Giants had a chance to go get him, that's someone that they would definitely target. He first, he fills in a need at your 3-4 outside linebacker position. The Giants do need a edge rusher, and Shaquille Barrett would automatically fill in that void. Um, he's a guy that, you know, before Tampa, he never really had that chance to get a big role on a team. And as soon as he had that chance, he shined. He shined brightly last year and this year, and that's a big Buccaneers scheme. Uh, 19 and a half sacks in his first year at Tampa. Then had eight sacks where, you know, he had more guys getting out the QB with Jason Pierre-Paul and the Dominican Sue Vitavea. So he wasn't getting, he wasn't the main guy this year, but he still made a giant impact on that Tampa Bay defense. And in the playoffs, he, he showed out in the playoffs, definitely in that Green Bay game where he consistently got pressure on Aaron Rodgers. So... With Shaquille Baird, if you you pick him up, you're going to pay him a pretty penny, but you're also getting a player that you can count on to give you, you know, consistent consistent talent on the outside of the football. So if the Giants were to have a chance to pick up Shaquille Baird, they would at least target him in free agency if he hit the open market. And at number four, I have cornerback William Jackson. So if the Giants don't want to go, what, cornerback early in the draft, you would have to find yourself a CB2 in this year's free agency. And I think William Jackson would be the dream fit for the New York Giants. William Jackson is a young corner who was at one time, you know, considered as one of the, you know, premier cornerbacks in the game, I think. I think that with William Jackson, all he needs is to be on the team where he's not the main corner. I think with him and James Bradbury, he would, you know, play off of James Bradbury, not being, you know, the number one corner facing the, uh, and some of your Browns and the, you know, any of the best wide receivers in his division. You come on the Giants, William Jackson on the Giants, you get a cornerback tandem of James Bradbury and William Jackson that I think can really create problems for wide receivers. So with William Jackson, I think that he isn't going to cost much. He's not going to cost much, but if you want to go, you know, if you're not a really big fan of any cornerbacks in this year's draft, you could go watch free agency for your cornerback too. With William Jackson, that would be a dream fit in my opinion for the New York Giants. And at number three, I have Justin Houston, pass rusher of the Indianapolis Colts. Now, I think if the Giants don't end up wanting to go pass rusher in the draft and you can't afford to pay the Hassan Reddicks or the Shaquille Barrett who are going to command big money on the open market, you can go a cheap veteran option like a Melvin Ingram or a Justin Houston. Now, Justin Houston, you know, ever since coming into the league has been a pretty good pass rusher. One time, I think he led the league in sacks for the Kansas City Chiefs and he is a veteran that brings mentorship and he brings also production at his age. I don't think at his age right now he's going to give you the 15, 14 sack seasons but he can still generate pressure and that's what the Giants need. He can fit the scheme of a 4-3 or 3-4. He can play the outside linebacker as an edge rusher or he can sit down and put his hands in the dirt in a 4-3 scheme and I think the Giants want a cheap veteran option Justin Houston should be a person they should look out for on the open market. And at number two, I have Yannick Ngakwe, pass rusher from the Baltimore Ravens. Now, the Yannick Ngakwe and the Giants have a little bit of history. You know, while he was in Jacksonville seeking a trade from the team, he had showed, I guess, interest or a want to be a New York Giant. He posted some, you know, pictures on his uh, Instagram story and stuff like that. So. Giants fans ever since then have had a little connection, a little love connection to Yannick Ngakwe as a pass rusher. And I think that now that he has a chance to go out on the open market, the Giants should go after him. I think that um, with Yannick Ngakwe, he gives you consistent um, consistent sacks, you know, throughout the season. You know, I think he's never had a season where he had a below 
the exact ever since coming into the league in like 2015. And that right there screams consistency, and that's what the Giants need. We need someone who can consistently get pressure on the QB. And I think, you know, Yannick Ngakwe can play our scheme because we do run a 3-4, but I, um, the Baltimore Ravens play the exact same scheme as in the 3-4, and they traded for him. He, you know, did pretty good. And before that, you know, before the trade to Baltimore, he was doing pretty good in Minnesota. He was making a real big impact, you know, in Minnesota, you know. He kind of died down after the trade, but I think that, you know, that happens, you know. But with Yannick Ngakwe, I think the Giants really do need to go after him as a pass rusher on the open market. Not sure how much he will command, but if the Giants or if Yannick Ngakwe is in their price range, that's one guy that they will. Number one, I have Hassan Reddick. Now, we're getting to the end of this video. Uh, I left off some guys that definitely can be on the Giants radar, like Bud Dupree, Desmond King, Romeo Cara, Leonard Floyd, those seven guys, man. And um, I got Hassan Reddick number one here because I think that when you take in his age, he's young, his potential, after you see what he can do when he's placed in the right situation, he can be a pretty good linebacker in the NFL. You know, uh, coming off the season, we had 12 and a half sacks and had a game where he absolutely game wrecked throughout the game uh, versus the Giants, ironically. We had five sacks. You take that into account, and he's gonna be cheaper than all these other guys like Shaquille Barry, and he can got away. Take that into account. You, as a Giants fan, have to want Hassan Reddick on your team. He fits your scheme, and he's his strong suit is where the Giants are weak at, and that's at linebacker off the edge. And when he was put where he was supposed to be at, he shined. And I think the Giants definitely can look at that and take a shot at him in this year's AFC class. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. And until next week, boy Jay Don, I am out. Hit you guys with more videos this week. I'm out. Peace.